Hey, it's Tyler with Lowbrow Customs. I want to show you guys and gals our new DIY fender struck kit. We've been making fender struck kits for many years, but this is version 2.0. Uh, we still sell the original, but this is a new kit that offers a variety of other components you might find very useful. <music> Included are two pieces of half inch round outside diameter, uh, 18 inch long cold rolled steel. Uh, this along with all the rest of the components in this kit, like many of the products we make are made of USA steel made here in Ohio, USA. So we have an assortment of tabs that come with this kit. Uh, first off here, 3 16 thick bottom tab that would be meant for the bottom of the fender strut or the fender support. You could also use these on, uh, you know, like a homemade sissy bar, something like that. Uh, it gives a very strong mount. You can see it sits very nicely on that, the supplied uh, half inch cold rolls, and it gives you a large area of, uh, of weld. So uh, this makes a very stout and secure lower mount. For the upper tab, it's a similar style in that it'll slip right over the material here, the round stock. And you know, you can slightly even angle it a bit before you weld it. Uh, as needed, depending on, on the bike and with, with fender you're mounting and everything. Now the unique part about this kit is the secondary upper tab, this is quarter inch thick steel and it's threaded 5 16 18 thread in there, which is a standard thread. Now we, we don't include hardware with this kit because they're, it's more of a thing of personal taste. So uh, I bolted this together with some half inch long button head Allen bolts here that I had in the garage. Some people like chrome, some people like hex, you know, socket head, there's all these different style hardware. So we let you choose what you want to use. But you can see that when these two tabs are bolted together, the profile matches and it looks very nice and clean. The reason for this is on a fender, such as this gas box fender for 16 and 18 inch rears, it's, it's got a really nice sidewall for it. And this lends itself very well to this 2.0 style mounting kit. The idea is you would weld the quarter inch thick oval style tab to the fender and that allows you to unbolt your strut and then bolt it directly to the fender without having to fiddle with through bolts and, and nuts. I can illustrate this here with the one that's not bolted together. So another thing you can do, these holes are on one inch centers. You can measure, mark and drill 5 16 holes in your fender weld the tab in place over it. That'll allow you to run longer hardware if you desire, and even throw maybe a thin nylock on the back for added safety so these, uh, these bolts won't loosen up. Though we always do recommend using Loctite on motorcycles on all the hardware. Another neat thing you can do is drill the holes in your fender on one inch centers, and this tab could slip on the back side to the inside of your fender and be welded all the way around. Now that gives you a very clean look with that tab welded in there and the holes drilled, it'll allow you to mount your fender straight and just bolt it to the outside of the fender, which is great. If you're doing that method, I would suggest you watch your clearance. If you weld the quarter inch tab to the inside on both sides, just ensure that it's not too close to the sidewall of your tire. That's about it. I uh, hope uh, you found that a little useful and gave you some ideas on mounting your fender on your next project. If you want to see a complete in-depth video, uh, where we mount a fender on a Triumph, one of Todd's Triumph bobbers. Uh, check out our how to mount a rear motorcycle fender video and you'll see everything from spacing your fender on your tire to uh, a chain notch clearance on your fender to fender struck kit, upper lower mounts and the whole shebang. Anything you need, check out lowbrowcustoms.com. We offer free motorcycle technical support and are here to help you out any way we can. Thanks.